<laughs> Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our conversation on bodies. And what are the questions that have brought you to this call tonight? What is it that you would like to know? What is it that you would like to talk about? Anybody? Nobody? Okay. Call over. Bye bye. Good night. See you all tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Mansi. Hi. 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 How are you? Wonderful. How are you? Great, great. Super. You know, awesome. completely lazy, free weekend zone. Oh, lovely. What a beautiful, brilliant way of living your life, actually. Oh. <sighs> Happy bodies. Uh, so wanted to know more uh, since uh, doing the three-day body class. Yes. Sure. So what is the three-day body class for you? I mean, it is logically speaking, what is it? And illogically speaking, what is it? Literally, what is it? And non-literally, what is it? So let's hear that. So logically, no idea. <laughs> I'm not even looked up i love not this woman <laughs> yeah illogically or whatever it's just a magic which i want to experience so waiting <laughs> yeah that so the three day body class in my in my universe is actually a three days of you know running body processes on each other, learning body processes, gifting body processes, receiving. And it's learning the technique, right? And while you're learning the technique, it's also you, what you're being with the technique. So, you know, a three-day body class will probably teach you how to run MTVSS. It'll probably teach you how to run the legend of El Dorado, right? But it will also facilitate you into being the legend of El Dorado. It will also facilitate you into being an energy that is unique to you when you run the legend of El Dorado. So it's not just about, okay, this is a technique, this is the crown, this is the sacrum, or, you know, this is the, this is the, um, this is the thymus and this is the third eye and this is how you run it. It's not just that. It's also, who are you being when you're running this process? What are you being? And it's your willingness to receive that energy, to be that space. Because, you know, all of us learn processes. Each one of us is out there. When we've learned, we want to run processes on each other. And yes, everyone who you receive from, everybody you give to, it does contribute. Yet, who can you be with the process that accelerates what the process can bring into the world? In my world, in my universe, it's really about that. So who are you that you have not yet acknowledged that when you are running the body processes could have you acknowledge that? While receiving the body processes could have you be more of that. And just that space. So if you were willing to tap into the energy right now, what, what is that energy communicating with you? With your body. And what if you didn't have to put a word to it or any words to it? And what if you could just receive that? And everything that doesn't allow you to know, be, perceive and to receive the magic that you be. Because if you are not willing to acknowledge that you are being the magic, that you are the magic, can you even 
run a body process and create magic. You would be doing the body process then. So what magic are you that you haven't yet acknowledged? That when you receive, when you gift, has you acknowledging that? So yeah, illogically, probably just that. <laughs> hmm. Thank you for your question, my love. And I'm so looking forward to the class and having you in class and getting Thank your God. body as a guinea pig. Yay! <laughs> what else is possible? Yes, truly. How much need of reactive reality are you using to create the food problem and the body problem you're choosing? Oh, yeah, this was from the CF, absolutely the training and what a training and how much of conversation that we had on reactive realities and project and the presumptive realities. You know, it's like, it's a whole different world out there, guys. I mean, my body is still melting with, 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 the, with the CF training and with all the, the, release that's actually shown up with the willingness to actually play with giving up the need for a reactive reality i mean how many of us are creating a body from the space of being needy of a reactive reality are you creating yeah i know rena through that yeah thank you everywhere that you're doing that and being that would you destroy and uncreate that right wrong good bad but walk online shots boys forwards and beyonds and i yeah. said are you yeah. being or are you doing a body process <laughs> the first time that i just yeah like, i mean get a body process done yeah body process done is a technique it's a technique that you learn and from the manual when you said like are you doing it are you being it there was something that just yeah i mean that's that's a body class right that level of presence yes. and that like you said the gifting and receiving am i allowing my body to receive or am i just getting something done to me yeah just that that for me truly you know you know nishita that for me is a body class that for me is a session yeah tell me so that is when you actually allow that change to occur. Mm -hmm. and be present and have that gifting receiving. Absolutely. This is good. <laughs> Blasting something in my world. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you for receiving, honey. Yeah. I think you should work all about just the being and doing. I yes. actually talk a lot about this in the yeah. Tudor Body class. Amazing. I'm so glad. <laughs> yes. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. We have Nishita there. Nishita's yummy body there. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, I talk about this because this truly has changed the way I am with the body processes that I receive body processes and I am with, in the world, basically. You know, all of this is like, is like a technique. Put your hand on the third eye, put your hand on the thymus, then liver spleen, then kidneys. Great. We run the MTVSS. Okay, wonderful. But what were you being with that? I mean, were you being all contraction and all little and small and finite and trying to solve a problem? Or were you being vast? Were you being expansive? Were you being infiniteness like the earth? Right and wrong, good and bad, fun and fuck, online shots, boys, forwards and beyond. What is possible from the space of expansiveness? What is possible from the space of infiniteness that isn't possible from the space of finiteness? That isn't possible from, I have to solve this problem in this body. I have to fix this body. I have this problem. That's why I want this body process. 
that's all finiteness. That's all, you know, that's all contraction. The earth doesn't say I have a problem. The earth just says I'm happy to gift and I'm happy to receive. Yarina? Hey, Yarpita. Mm. Yeah, wow. Thank you for this conversation about being the body process, being the body. Um, this is exactly what I was, uh, I was in the question when I went for advanced body class. <laughs> what am I? There's no requisite for me at that moment that I should be doing advanced body class and I should go Paris and blah, blah, all that. And no, it was you, you facilitated me over there that it's not about doing and it's not about prerequisites. It's not about that. It's, it's never all about, about that. Yeah, it's yeah. never about that. It's all about you honoring you, you honoring yeah. your body and what you can receive with the earth. And how much are you willing to be communion with the earth? How much are you willing to be embodied with the earth yeah. and the universe? Yeah. It is so much melting. It's just this reality just puts you into the transaction of why you have to do body class. It's mm. not about that. This is... A body class is all about honoring you. A gift you are giving to yourself. Wow. Thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. And till date, if you tell me something to go and do a class, I will go and do all body classes. <laughs> I mean, that is that effect I yeah. have on the, on the body processes or whatever that is. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing love. Yeah. So what can you be and who can you be with this body process? What if you could start your sessions like that? What if you could start your gifting, even the bars like that? You know, not from a space of, oh, you want your bars? Let me do it. But from a space of, you want your bars run? Okay, who can I be here? What can I be here that this person requires, that this body is asking for? That's a gift to this body, to this being, to me, to the planet and to everybody on this planet. How big do you have to be for that? And how much would you have to receive for that? So how much are you, how much are you rejecting and diminishing your receiving by doing body processes instead of being the body process? And how much of that keeps you in reaction to, I knew it couldn't change, or I knew this can't change, or I knew this, or, you know, keeps you projecting that at the body while you're running a body process. Keeps you in presumptive reality that this is what's going to happen, and this is what can't happen. And when it does happen, you go into reaction. all the presumptive realities and the need for the reactive for the reactive realities that keeps you creating the body that you're creating would you destroy and uncreate that right from good bad pot work on nine shots voice forwards and beyond and how many of you are creating your body to prove to the world that you're worthless yeah, I can do everything, but I can't change my body. So I'm not as good as everybody else's. I can do everything, but I'm stuck with a body issue or a body problem. So I'm really not worth the magic you all think I am. See, I'm not as brilliant as you think I am. It's a need of the reactive realities and about how you're not worth anything, how you're worthless, how you're not worth even, dis even deserving that you have to go into the energy of trying to prove constantly. Everywhere you're creating your body for that, would you destroy and uncreate that? <laughs> right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, online shots, boys, forwards and beyonds. Well, you don't, you don't know, I'm not brilliant. 
I, you know, I just happened to change a few people's lives and people just came to me and I ran their bars and the world where reality has changed. But no, you don't get it. I'm not brilliant. See, I have a body issue. See, my body's not changing. See, see. Everywhere you're doing that, you prove to the world that you're not the magician, the brilliance of who you be. So you can belong. Oh, the need to belong. That's again the need of a reactive reality. Would you all please destroy and uncreate that? Yeah, Jeevan, everything that is, would you destroy and uncreate that, please? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and park, online shots, boys, forwards and beyond. Yes, my dear Ankita. Ma'am, I have two questions. One is, uh, somehow I'm not able to, you know, choose body class. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what point of view or what questions are there and what resistance I have with the body class, especially because I am thinking to do body class and some or the reason is, you know, happening and I'm just delaying. That's my first question. And uh, my second question, ma'am, is... With your first, uh, with your first again, question, with your first question, love, let's just look at that first question. Is something really happening that's delaying it or are you choosing delay? Ma'am, something is happening because I wish to do my body class now. My love, nothing and... happens to you, sweetie pie. What can change if you are willing to acknowledge that you're choosing delay? Everywhere you are choosing the need of reactive reality by believing that something's happening, which is why it's getting delayed, you destroy and create that. Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, online shots, boys, forwards and beyonds. What if it's not, what if it's not something happening to you, but what if it's you choosing Delay. Ma'am, I'm going Can in you my now room. make a different choice? Yes, ma'am, I'm good. Whenever you know, I'm, yes, but I'm choosing up. my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that energy. Yeah, but just shut up. Listen to me. <laughs> okay, Ankita, I'll listen to you. <laughs> no, ma'am, no. uh, what I'm saying is. Uh, when I'm, you know, choosing, I'm considering my daughter and I'm, you know, thinking about the logistic part, especially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, what it's are the logistic parts, part, if I may ask? Like, uh, I have to, you know, bring my daughter, for example, if I'm going to choose a class for Mumbai and mm -hmm. I'm in Pune. So mm -hmm. I have to, you know, bring her and uh, I'm not, you know, my husband is not comfortable to send her. So there are a lot of things which I have to take care of. And, so that's that's an interesting point of so view. You're busy. So you're busy with taking care of things, right? Truth, yes or no? And I'm only going yes. here simply because yes. I sense a willingness in your world to change it. And if and if you don't want to go there, I'm happy not to go there, love. So everything that you've created in your life to keep you busy, so you can use that as your react as, and you can keep that, and you can keep having the need for the reactionary reality. Would you destroy and uncreate that? Yes. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, online shots, boys, forwards, and beyonds. If you chose, if you chose a body class, and it doesn't matter where you go, it doesn't matter which class you go to, whatever class you go to would be a contribution. But if you chose a body class, what do you fear would happen? Change. <laughs> <laughs> do you fear the change? No, no, definitely. I perceive that energy of change. That's the reason yeah. the first word came out yeah. to be changed. Thank you, darling. And are you willing to receive that change? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Wonderful. So whatever you've defined it's as change that it isn't and whatever you haven't. And whatever you have decided is change, would you now please destroy and uncreate that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and rock, online shots, boys, forwards and beyonds. Ask your body, will this body, will this body class contribute? I know we've had this conversation earlier also. 
But what if you could truly ask and choose instead of ask and again ask and again ask? What if now is the time to ask, choose and take action? What could that create for you, Ankita? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're welcome, sweetie. I could see you Ma'am, may I ask my second question? Yes, please. So, ma'am, my <clears throat> second question is like after doing your body to create or destroy class, I have been you know, asking questions for whatever I'm eating or drinking. So, ma'am, uh, for the specialty tea, I have asked questions. Sometimes my body enjoys having tea and sometimes it reacts in terms of ulcers in my mouth. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so ma'am, I'm not able to, you know, uh, again, I'm not finding any cause. Mm -hmm. The thing is that my body, what question I ask, so I'll be able to get an awareness about my mouth ulcers. Body, On and off want, I get. Body, do you want to drink tea? Do you not? Do you want to drink tea? Yes, no? Body, how much do you want to drink? I mean, how often do you get a question? Do you ask a question? Do you want to drink tea? And then you ask for a cup of tea. And now you've decided you have to finish the whole cup of tea. That's the reactionary reality you're creating with food. I have to finish it. If I don't finish it, it's wrong. So everywhere that you were told, you must finish your food, even if your stomach hurts. And even if your body says no, would you destroy and create that? My drum, good back, butt park, online shots, boys, cohorts, and beyonds. And ask your body. Ask, ask. You know, when you get these ulcers, ask, if this is not ulcers, what is this? Ulcer is a diagnosis of something that's showing up in your mouth. But if this is not ulcer, what is this? Intensity, ma'am. Okay. So now what are you not receiving that if you would receive? But change this. If it is intensity and you're not receiving the intensity, you're suppressing it. So is that what is showing up as ulcers in your body? In your mouth? Thank you so much, ma'am. You're, you're, yeah. And definitely I would like to acknowledge your class which I did. My body has shifted and uh, it, it is like I'm enjoying and that's the reason I asked the body uh, class question because now I'm willing to, you know, receive a body class. That's body amazing, Anki. Thank I'm you so, so much, happy to hear. How does it get any better? Truly, yes. All right, lovelies, wonderful. Thank you all for being here and thank you, Nishita and Rina, for creating this and putting it out there and for having all these lovely bodies and beings on board. So we do have a three-day body class coming up in Mumbai. And ladies, if you can please give the details. I've put the registration link above. Awesome. Yeah. And so the fourth and yeah, the fifth. What a three-day yeah. body class is. That is yeah. well. Wonderful. Thanks, darling. And we have the class on the fourth and the fifth and the sixth of March in Mumbai. Some yummy bodies coming, some sexy bodies coming, a lot of change. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? And we're not going to have fun. And we're not going to have fun at all. Fun? What's fun? Rina? What does it mean? We're going to be so sad. <laughs> so sad. I'm so serious. Sad. So serious. Oh, so. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> truly, truly. So don't come. <laughs> And everything that brought up. Oh, I love I love that sense of FOMO that just came up. <laughs> Destroy and created. <laughs> right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pork, online shots, boys, povas, and beyonds. Lovely, guys. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for being here, sweetheart. And once again, thank you, my dearest Rina and Nishita. And looking forward to seeing whoever hops on to class. Yes. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Lovely. Bye. Bye.